All right, and so with Edel 3, we return to a semi bucolic scene. Um, it definitely had some elements there, but as the note that I read said, there is this kind of tradition of um, singing the serenades outside of. Um, a house or a, a locked place and here we have something similar kind of um, taken uh, transported and it's a cave so there is the option that this um, Amaryllis is um, the beloved is a actual woman or perhaps a nymph so there's that to consider um i don't think i've made up my mind um yet um to me it doesn't being a cave is, is quite strange for a woman but um it, as the note said that it's not impossible but that aside um again we have another kind of wreath um, described here, this one is ivy, uh, woven with rosebuds and fragrant wild celery. Again, I'm reading from the Anthony Verity translation, and so I found I found that little detail, um, of course, interesting. Um, so that might be something that I I touch on one day. Um, so there seems to be that moment where um, the speaker, I don't think he's ever named here, but um, he has a friend, um, Titurus, I hope, I hope that's how that's pronounced, um, and he speaks to them, so Titurus is going to handle the goats um, while, uh, while the speaker is going to try to convince Amaryllis to at least step out um, and so he, he basically I think kind of just tries out um, expressing himself for about half of the idyll and then he tries to perform some sort of song that um, the note said is pathetic with a B and that was the first time I actually heard that word, so um, read that word. So that was interesting. Learned a new one, and it says that it's anticlimactic. And I would just sort of agree because it was very dense with um, references of mythology. Um, and at least in the translation, it doesn't um, communicate well. It's not a very. It's, it's very dense, I think. I think that's what gets gets me. Um, but it does mention kind of uh, these moments in mythology that should, um, should bring to mind something that Amaryllis could respond to. Um, I, I just found that to be very weak, so I would agree. Um, and it seems that in this sort of tradition of serenading, um, the speakers are usually drunk, and that might be something interesting to look into when thinking about this idyll. Um, but I would say that this is, falls into the bucolic uh, sphere. Um, so it definitely is playing around with um, other poetic traditions and playing around with genre. Um, so that could be something I explore more one day. Um, that seems to be a lot in terms of what I've seen for criticism of Theocritus is dealing with genre. Um, but yeah, so that is that for this one it's, it's quite a short poem 
and um, there's a couple of details that I want to go back to probably but um, not that much uh, that's it all three the third it'll for you all right 